Sammy Callahan officially re-signs with Impact Wrestling. All signs lead to Ethan Page leaving Impact Wrestling. We see some new talent debuting on the next Impact Wrestling TV show. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Thanks for joining me today. Just want to say Happy New Year's, everybody. I hope everybody has a happy and healthy 2021. I'm not going to take up too much of your time today. It's just a special New Year's Day edition of Shooting Up North. Uh, but before I begin, I just want to say I do have my own YouTube channel. It's called the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. I will put up the link in the comment section, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Head on over there. I just put up a really good interview that I did recently. Actually, I just put up two new interviews, one with a uh, with um, Ontario up-and-coming star Travis Moore and with the Dirty Heels hardcore champion Blaze Haram. So check those two interviews out. Uh, I think I did a good job. I think I did a pretty good job during the interviews. But... Uh, Check, check it out, uh, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. And please, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Please, just the subscribe button. Just go boop and just hit that subscribe button. Keep me a, you know, make make my New Year's um, start uh, happy, so to speak. Just hit that subscribe button if, if you want to, you know, consider hitting that subscribe button. Okay, so let's get on to some good news. Sammy Callahan has officially re-signed with Impact Wrestling. Two-year deal. Here's the tweet from Sammy Callahan. It says, to, from last night, today marks when I would have been a free agent. Uh, I just resigned with impact wrestling two years for big money i got other offers but i don't give a damn this is my company i made this company i will be champion in 2021 hashtag the draw that's fantastic news big fan of sammy callahan uh, the rumors were and i reported on this uh, a few weeks ago the rumors were he was going to stay with impact wrestling and he made it official he signed that two-year contract Love Sammy Callahan, one of my favorite wrestlers right now. Um, actually, he's been one of my favorite wrestlers for a while. And uh, great that he is coming back to Impact Wrestling for another two years. And now I'd like to see him show up on AEW and start taking people out with that baseball bat. I, uh, I would like to see that. But uh, we'll see if that happens. But um, nonetheless... Sammy Callahan, big news, uh, signs with Impact for another two years. I could see him. I could see him with another run uh, with the Impact Wrestling World Title. I could see him getting another run with the Impact Wrestling World Championship, and uh, could happen in 2021. But he's signed a two-year deal. Could be 2022. But I'm sure before this contract is up, he will have been at least um, holding that belt at least one more time, and. Uh, Thank you, Sammy Callahan, for for resigning with Impact Wrestling. This is the this is the type of um, of tweet that you like to see. This is the type of tweet that you like to see. He wanted to stay with Impact Wrestling. Says he got other offers, but he didn't give a damn about them. He wanted to stay with Impact Wrestling. He calls it his company, and I just wish we could get a few more wrestlers on board with that with the opinion of impact wrestling being their company. Well, I know the good brothers, they're calling it their company, uh, Sammy Callahan. I would like to see uh, a few more, a few more come aboard and say, you know what? This is my company. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. So, so good news. Great news. Thank you, Sammy Callahan. On the flip side of that, on the flip side of that, all signs are leading to Ethan Page not returning. It's January 1st. He's officially no longer a part of the Impact Wrestling roster. Impact, uh, I'm sorry, Ethan Page pulled merchandise from his store on January 1st. Uh, he did a whole storyline where on his Played by Julian Twitch page, it was uh, Ethan Page versus the Karate Man. And if Ethan Page lost, he would have to pull his merch from his from his um, online store, all, you know, all Ethan Page merch from his online store on January 1st. And of course he lost to the Karate Man. So Ethan Page has pulled all his merchandise from his store. And this is something that the WWE 
if you sign with the WWE that they would make you do. So kind of thinking maybe, I'm, I'm not sure if AEW would make him do that, but I know it's definitely something that the WWE would make talent do if they sign with them. So is Ethan Page going to debut in NXT? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, um, I don't. I, I. I don't know. I don't know where where he could he, right. But right now, all I know right now is he's no longer a part of the Impact Wrestling roster. And another um, another hint that he's not coming back is Josh Alexander posted on his social media, all across the social media. That uh, let me pull it up here. Let's see if I can find it. One second. Anyway, I, I didn't, uh, but he posted that uh, in 2021, he's no longer tagging out again and um, indicating that he's going solo. And he put up a nice little uh, uh, promo video, which was retweeted by Impact Wrestling. So he's indicating that he is going solo, that there's no he's no longer involved in a tag team. Hence, 2021, I won't be tagging out anymore. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with Josh Alexander going solo. I think Josh Alexander is a tremendous wrestler, a tremendous, tremendous wrestler, incredible talent. I've been a fan of Josh Alexander for years now. And if anybody can have a successful solo run in any promotion, it's Josh Alexander. And I'm just glad that we're going to see a solo run from him in Impact Wrestling. It, it appears that's where they're heading. Um, again, I have no backstage information or or anything like that, but that's where it appears that it's heading. Um, Ethan Page leaving, merchandise coming down from his store, Josh Alexander going solo. And I mentioned Sammy Callahan <clears throat> would have the, I predicted Sammy Callahan would have the Impact Wrestling title uh, before his two year contract is up. I predict Josh Alexander will have the Impact Wrestling world title at some point this year. His contract is up, I think at the end of 2021. Don't don't quote me on that. I think I read that somewhere. I don't know his contract, but it's, it's at some point in 2021, I believe his contract will be up. And I think before his contract is up, he will be the Impact Wrestling World Champion. So with Ethan Page leaving, that is bad news. Well, I shouldn't say he's leaving. All signs are pointing to Ethan Page leaving. So that is bad news. And Josh Alexander taking the ball and running as a solo wrestler, I think, is fantastic news. So there's a little bit of bad there and a little bit of good. So take the good with the bad. Don't want Ethan Page to leave. Uh, but again, I would love to see Josh Alexander to see what he can do as a solo wrestler in Impact Wrestling. And like I said, I think he would be highly, highly, highly successful as a solo Impact Wrestler. A solo wrestler in Impact Wrestling. So there you have it. And I kind of, I hope, I know Ethan Page is a bit of a jokester. So the, deep down inside, I have the feeling that, or actually I have the thought that maybe, maybe this is a, a swerve and he's not going anywhere. That's a, that's, there's a slight possibility that, that that's what he's doing, but we'll see. We'll see. It's, it's January 1st. I, I keep checking, uh, I keep checking for updates and uh, once I get an update, I will, uh, I'll report it. I'll report it. Um, so let's move on. New talent is debuting. New talent is debuting on the next Impact Wrestling uh, show. Uh, we're getting Casey Navarro versus Blake Christian versus Ace Austin versus Crazy Steve in a fatal four-way match. And I think this is cool. I think this is cool. We're going to get to see Casey Navarro and Blake Christian before the Super uh, before the Super X Cup. We're going to see what uh, they're able to do. I really hope that either Casey Navarro or Blake Christian win, wins this match to give them some credibility heading into the Super X Cup. I hope it's not Crazy Steve or Ace Austin. Uh, I think Ace Austin will win the Super X Cup as I as I predicted, but in this specific match, I'm hoping that either Casey Navarro or Blake Christian does go because does go over uh, in this match. Either one of them go over in this match uh, to add a little bit of credibility uh, to them as they're heading heading into the Super X Cup. And with this new talent we're seeing, I mean, we saw with the uh, with um, the knockouts tag team uh, tournament, we saw 
We saw New Talent. We saw Killer Kelly. We saw Renee Michelle. We saw the Sea Stars. Now we're seeing Blake Christian. We're seeing Casey Navarro. We're going to see Trey Lamar in the Super X Cup. I just hope that these are not just one and dones with this new talent. I hope at least one or two of these new talents that they're going to be showcasing, or they have showcased at the at the Knockouts Tag Team Title uh, Tournament, and they are going to be showcasing at the Super X Cup. I hope we do see a few of them signed to a contract by Impact Wrestling. I would love to see. Um, I'm no, um, I'm not shy about it. I'd love to see Killer Kelly uh, signed. I hope, um, hope they do. We haven't heard much from Killer Kelly in the last few weeks, and hence, you know, they've been the best of 2020 shows of Impact Wrestling. And hopefully, we'll see her in 2021. Just hope they would have announced that they have signed her, but I would love for them to sign her. Uh, Trey Lamar, great talent. Uh, Blake Christian, great talent. Casey Navarro, I, I read, is a is a really good up and coming young talent. So I hope they sign one, two, or all three of them to contracts in Impact Wrestling, and I hope they make that announcement. I hope they make that announcement in the next couple of weeks. Um, we could use some new talents in Impact Wrestling. We all know how I feel about new talent. Uh, and we could definitely use some new talents in Impact Wrestling. And last but not least, like I said, it's going to be a really short podcast today. It's a New Year's, special New Year's edition. Don't want to take up too much of your time today. Uh, Deanna Perrazzo has been announced. Uh, it's been announced that um, Deanna Perrazzo will be defending the knockouts title at Hard to Kill against Taya Valkyrie. And I think this is going to be an absolutely fantastic match between two really, really talented wrestlers. I'm very, very excited about this one. And I just hope it's not Ty Valkyrie's swan song with Impact Wrestling. I hope it's not her last match with Impact Wrestling. I hope she does stay and resigns. I know her contract is up, I believe, early 2021. Uh, I, I read end of January, I read somewhere end of February, uh, but nonetheless, the rumor is her uh, contract is coming up early, early 2021, and I do hope that this is not her last match with Impact Wrestling, and um, hope Scott Demore, Don Callis get that contract to all printed up, and uh, give her what, uh, what makes her happy, and she resigns with Impact Wrestling, uh, but Bottom line is this is going to be a terrific match, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, Diona Perrazzo defending the knockouts title against Taya Valkyrie. Okay, well, that's it. That's it for today. Uh, again, Happy New Year. Uh, have a happy and healthy and safe 2021. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye, and stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.